It's time to talk about Coach Prime, baby. Deion Sanders. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Welcome back to The Honest Truth. Coach Prime's moving on to three and one record at Colorado University. And you know what? Split 50-50 down the middle. But this time, I think it's just 50-50 with black people. I think we're having a hard time on 50-50. Charleston just did an interview. Charleston White from Fort Worth, by the way, 15 minutes down the road from me. Just did an interview with Say Cheese TV where he talked about a little bit of the uh, issues that he has. Really, he has a lot of issues with Dion. But most of the facts stemming that he's now seeing black celebrities and people are starting to pop up to support Dion at Colorado University. And obviously, if Dion was still at Jackson State University, you know, the previously HBCU coach team and conference that he coached to many SWAC championships and ended up turning around an entire football program for what could have been arguably the greatest black dynasty of football that we've seen in in a long time ever, to be completely honest with you. I mean, what, 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 what we addressed on this channel, what we had such a big problem with, what I had such a big problem with was the king leaving the castle just to become a prince or a subservient under another king in a bigger castle, right? It just didn't make sense to me, especially with me, I'm the type of dude where I like to do and run things by myself. Now, granted, I know there was a lot of things that apparently happened while he was at Jackson State University and misappropriation of funds. Uh, he had given some of his money for the weight room, something like that. And the college took away some of the money that he had given or the money went missing. We're not even sure what really happened. Deion Sanders claims one thing. The university and the athletic director claimed a completely different thing as well. Both people went on the record saying that the other person was lying, essentially. Uh, that was what we watched and that is what we saw. So fast forward, Deion gets this huge mega opportunity because he has the chance to go and make Colorado University a bigger and better football program since they've been struggling. But that would mean that he has to leave the black people or the HBCUs, Jackson State University behind. You know what? I connect to this in a different way right now. And here's why. There are some people in this world that it doesn't matter how much of a silver platter dish you serve. It doesn't matter if you put lobster, T-bone steak. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter because they're not going to like that they're at and sitting at your restaurant eating that steak. They're not going to like that they're sitting and enjoying that meal at a place that they don't feel like they should be eating at. And sometimes this happens with people in your life that might be ungrateful for the things that you've given to them, that might not really truly understand what kind of friend or boyfriend or husband or fiance that you've been to them, right? They don't really appreciate you for who you are. And and they think they can do better all by themselves and they think they can upgrade to something better. Now, here's the thing about this. Irrespective of if it's truly an upgrade or not, the reality of the situation dictates that Deion Sanders honestly could have been and had something far bigger in payout. In my opinion, long term, we're talking about collegially coaching on, on the D1 level. That's a very fickle job. Very, It's an extremely fickle job. In my, that, that's, I wouldn't go for it. They get fired and hired by the season. Even with contracts, they can get fired and hired. So in my opinion, it would have been much better to go take the long-term payout, the notoriety, the establishment. Now, on the other side, a lot of people are trying to say, well, Deion's trying to get his kids to the NFL. He's trying to get his kids to the lead. He's trying to get Shadir Sanders and his other son to the league. And Shadir has the ability to go to the lead. The kid's a stud. He can ball out. He's, he's nice. He's really nice. He plays an unconventional style of football. It's honestly brilliant and fun to watch. And that's why Colorado's numbers and their ratings are going through the roof. Irrespective of what you feel and what you think, when we just got off of this entire movement of Black Lives Matter, and I've already said all of this stuff, but I'm pretty sure Charleston White watches our channel. I've already said all this stuff, but I'm going to repeat some of the things he said, but I've already said it before anyways. And irrespective of what you think about everything that we've gone through recently, the Black Lives Matter thing, the this, 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 and that, it was apparent and it was obvious to me that there were a lot of people in this country that truly felt like they were being underrepresented, under uh, mis mistreated, misrepresented. They were being underappreciated, underpaid, under this, under that, right? And so once again, the only way and the only solution that you can get rid of or solve something or systemic like that problem of race non-relations is to start cohabitating and functioning internally better as a society. But that's not what Dion did. He had the chance and we saw the money and the ratings, the football tickets rose so much for the prices of the tickets. I mean, I think they went from like 20 to like $100 or $150 for these HBCU tickets. That's a lot of money coming into the university. Hey, Maybe it says something else that ultimately at the end of the day, we just can't do it by ourselves because if Deion Sanders is going to put the fault and the blame at the university for misappropriating the funds, that's just plain an excuse because you could have transferred to another school. You could have went somewhere else. You could have really worked it out if you wanted to work it out. But you know what? Some people don't want to work it out. They'll look for the first excuse that's convenient to them and on their way up the ladder, be careful on your way down, by the way, on your way up the ladder, they're going to be mentioning that excuse to them, why they did what they did, this, this and that. And that's going to be their moral compassing guide. That's what's going to 
help them sleep at night. And that's what's going to give them the best feeling to convey that their level of betrayal, their level of hypocrisy and their level of destitution that they showed to their own people was not only worth it, but justified on top of it. 